in this video we are going to discuss about the differences between method overloading and method overriding in java let's see the first point the first point is the definition of method overloading and method overriding method overloading is the concept of defining multiple methods with different signature in the same class whereas method overriding is possible while implementing inheritance we know what is inheritance the process of creating a new class from old class is known as inheritance here the base class contains only its own features whereas derived class contains its features as well as its base class features so if derived class doesn't satisfies with base class definitions then derived class can provides its own implementation for the corresponding methods and that is method overriding uh, let's see the these eight points for by one let's see the first point method overloading is performed within a class so we have to declare a single class within the single class we can define multiple methods with the same name but with different signatures signature means number of arguments and order of arguments so that may be different whereas let's see the first point in method overriding it is performed between two classes that have inheritance relationship so we can say that method overriding is possible only while implementing inheritance so if there is no inheritance then we can say that there is no method overriding so that is the first point method overloading is possible inside a single class whereas method overriding is possible between different classes between two classes that have inheritance let's see the second point signature must be different signature means number of arguments and order of arguments so that must be different whereas if you take method overriding signature must be the same so the number of arguments and order of arguments must be same in both base class as well as derived class that is the second point let's see the third point it is an example of compile time polymorphism whereas method overriding is an example of run time polymorphism we know what is polymorphism poly means many morphism means forms representing one thing in many forms is known as polymorphism polymorphism is classified into two types compile time polymorphism run time run time polymorphism method overloading is an example for compile time polymorphism whereas method overriding is an example for run time polymorphism let's see what is compile time polymorphism the decision about which method will be called should be decided during compilation time whereas run time polymorphism means the decision about which method will be called should be decided during dynamic that is nothing but execution time the other names for compile time polymorphism or compile time polymorphism can also be known as static polymorphism static binding early binding whereas run time polymorphism can also be known as dynamic polymorphism dynamic binding or late binding let's see the next point it is used to increase the readability of the program by using method overloading we can define the same method with different signature for different purposes so that the readability of the program can be increases we can use the same program with the help of the same method we can perform several activities 
let us assume that we have a method called add so with the help of that add method we can add two integer numbers two floor numbers two double numbers one integer one double number three floor numbers three double numbers so likewise we can perform various types of activities various if you take method overriding it is used to provide different implementations of super class method so when method overriding is needed if derived class is not satisfied with its base class method definition then derived class can provide its own implementation for the method so that we can say that it is mainly useful to provide different implementation for the super class method in the subclass so if so if subclass that is nothing but derived class that is nothing but uh, child class if child class is not satisfied with its method definition if child class is not satisfied with its parent class method definition then child class can provide its own definition for the method with the help of method overriding now let's see the next point static methods can be overloaded private methods can be overloaded final methods can be overloaded for overloading there is no problems we can overload static methods private methods and final methods there is no problem coming to the overriding it is not possible to override static method if a base class contains static method then it is not possible to override that method in derived class likewise if a base class contains a private method then it is not possible to override that method in derived class why because we know that we can use as private members only inside a class it is not possible to access private me methods from outside the class so we can say that private methods cannot be overloaded i'm sorry private methods cannot be overrided next point final methods cannot be overrided final means that that method definition is final so if a base class contains a final method then it is not possible to override that method in derived class if derived class is trying to override that method then the compiler will generate the error message now let's see the last point return type of method may be same or different here let us assume that we have add method add method let me are adding two integers then what is the return type that is if we have two integers then the result is integer let us assume that here we have a in the comma float if we add integer and float then the return type is float next let us assume that we have one more method so we add of uh, and the first number is a float number whereas the second number is integer number if we add float and integer then what is the return type float is the return type so that means here the return type of the method may be the same or different there is no problem here whereas here in method overriding the return type of the base class method and the derived class method must be the same suppose in base class if return type is integer then in derived class also the return type must be integer suppose in base class if return type is float then in derived class also the return type is float so these are the various differences between method overloading and method overriding in java